this video, we're going to pick up where we left off. The last tutorial we did was how to use Orchestra Wizards. Then we did a simple valve that we could position either horizontally or vertically. What we're going to do in this tutorial is we're going to add onto it and we're going to create a complex valve object that has two inputs instead of a single input. So the first thing that we would like to do is let's go ahead and add our properties. All right, so what we have are, we have one property right now that's associated with our simple. So we're just gonna add an open switch property and a closed switch property. And we're gonna set them to match an attribute. In an object all right and then we're going to add two additional custom properties one called status which is an, an integer and it's private which means that it won't be exposed when you drop the graphic you won't be able to see it it's contained it's, uh, the scope is limited to this symbol so now we're going to add also update status which is another Boolean that it will also be private. Okay, so the next thing we're gonna do is we're gonna create our new layers. So we have layers in here from our last tutorial. And so I'm gonna, um, actually I renamed these, I put an S on them, just to say simple horizontal, simple vertical. And then on the uh, options, so let's make this um, S horizontal and S vertical. Now we're going to add an addition, two additional layers, one for C horizontal for complex and C vertical. Okay, now if we go back and look at our layers, we can see that we now have two new layers. All right, now let's get our graphic done. The easiest way to do this is to just duplicate the simple one and we're gonna break the group so I can, because actually, you know, these um, these valves are nothing but little triangles tied together. So we'll just change one and then we just duplicate it for all the rest of them. And in this case now, we're gonna use a truth table instead of a Boolean on off, and it's gonna be an integer status. Okay, uh, the primary, the first color for zero is going to be valve closed then we're going to have green be valve open when it's a one and we're going to use white to be our travel color when it's a code two and then magenta is going to be our trouble color when it's a code three so now we have four states and four colors for this valve two switches four states so, okay, and now the simple matter of duplicating this guy, we're gonna flip him. Oops, flip vertical. And we're gonna line him up. And now we can group him again. And this time we're gonna call the group C vertical. Okay, I'm gonna duplicate him, gonna flip him. That's, and let's see, that group is going to be called C horizontal. And I can just select everybody by doing a drag and drop and a centering. And that's it for the graphics. All right. Now we're going to create our scripting. And the way we're going to maintain uh, this control is we're going to have an, op an open script, a close script, and an update script where we'll actually set the status. So in the open script, we're going to we're going to monitor the condition of the open switch, the open input. Anytime it changes, whether it goes true or false, we're going to trigger the update status boolean. We're going to make it true. Okay, and we're going to do that same thing 
for our closed when it changes all right and now in our update we're going to take that update status and when it's true it's going to it's going to execute this script and we're going to set it to false so that gives us a one shot deterministic never going to fail when that boolean gets set to true it's going to execute what it sees in here and then it's going to set the trigger back to false. All right, so if the open switch is true and the close switch is false, then the status indicator is going to be a one, as in on, okay? And we'll just put a comment in there. Okay, now, else if, All right, the open switch is false, and the close switch is true, then, then, status is going to be equal to ah, zero. It's going to be closed. And I forgot my equal there. Okay, and then I'm going to copy that line and say if the open switch is true and the closed switch is true, the status is going to be two for travel. All right, the next condition, if the open switch is false and the closed switch is false, then we're gonna say the status is a three for trouble. And that means we can, the valve is stuck, the power is out, something has happened. And now to end this guy, because of the syntax requirements in Orchestra, we need a end if statement for every if or else if. And that should be it. Okay, let's double check that guy, looks good. Okay, next thing we're gonna do is we're gonna set up our layers. So we have under the properties, you know, the value property before we didn't have to do anything with it because it was default to both layers. In this case, it only is going to be associated with the simple valve. So we're gonna actually have to put that now in the custom properties for the simple vertical and simple horizontal. All right, now these four properties are gonna go with our custom, uh, excuse me, our complex graphic okay so that takes care of that now we have scripts so our name scripts all of the scripts are going to go with the custom we don't have any scripts for the simple okay so that takes care of that now our elements we're going to drop our complex horizontal into the graphic element for the complex horizontal and the complex vertical in the same in the same one for the vertical. All right, and that should be that. Now we can save and close that. All right, the next step is to go and build our complex object. So we're gonna to go to the user defined template. We're gonna create a new derived template. We're gonna call it complex valve. All right, and then in the complex valve, we're gonna create two properties that match what we did in the graphic. 
Okay. And in this case, this is going to be the closed. It's an input. It's a closed switch. And it's going to need a UDA. I'll do that in a second. Here's the open switch. It's an input. Uh, since I'm not using a simulator, I'm going to use UDAs in the object viewer. So we're going to have an open UDA. And we're going to have a close UDA. And then uh, when I go back to here, I just put in the reference that I need. So this will be me.openUDA. And if you're using R2, this is 2014 R1. If you're using R2, you, you, will, you may or may not have field attributes. If you don't have field attributes, it's not a problem. You can still do it with the, uh, you can still create these internal UDAs with uh, standard attributes. You just, you'll set the input on one and not on the other. All right, so then this is the close. So we'll say me.closeUDA. All right, and now that takes care of our object. Now that we've done the template, we're going to create the instance. All right, and now we're going to go to the deployment view. We're going to put him in the site area with the other one and deploy it. Now that we've got it deployed, we're going to go to view in object viewer. All right, and this is where we're going to do our troubleshooting. So we're going to grab our closed UDA and our open UDA, since that's what we're actually going to be setting it with. Okay. All right, now they're both false, so it would actually indicate trouble. We can verify that just by... Um, now, actually, we're going to need to deploy our view app. So let's deploy our view app, and then we'll go and verify that it is showing trouble. So it should be, so both valves should be showing magenta. Run app manager. Let's select the screen that has our valve on it. And we might want to go put our valves in there first. Okay, so I skipped a step. So let's go to the screen, and this is a screen graphic that's actually embedded in the view app. And we can either select this by using our embed graphic option, or we can just copy and paste one of these. I'm going to go ahead and use the embed option. All right, and so that's a horizontal. So let's make that our complex horizontal. And then let's grab another one. Make that our complex vertical. All right, and now these guys are going to need the complex... Valve 001, I believe, is the name. So we've got to set our owning object to the correct object in the galaxy. And now we should be good to go. Okay. So now we're going to do a deployment again. Okay. And we'll run our app manager. Select our screen. And they are magenta, which is what we expected. All right, so now let's test the uh, let's test closed. So I'm going to turn the closed UDA on. All right, and let's okay. Now let's test our open. Actually, let's do something different. Let's so let's go closed, and now let's set this guy to true, showing that it's actually in transit. So we should get the travel. There we go. That's travel. And now the close goes to false, and it should be open. Bingo. Okay, that's that concludes this video. I hope you liked it. If you do, please subscribe or and click like. You can also check out the blog version of this tutorial at www.learnscada.com. And I invite you to take the free online course if you haven't already, and to check out the. Uh, pre-order the book if you're interested in step-by-step uh, -step orchestra scripting. Thank you for listening.